Hey guys, good morning. Happy Friday the 13th. Um, <clears throat> so, I've been thinking a lot lately. Um, and I got some things figured out and uh, this is not a rant, but this is just, um, I guess, the things that I'd like to address and um, why people do such things or, you know, whatever they um, do um, with their life. Um, um, the reason being... Um, I was kind of drawn to that topic is because um, when I <clears throat> stopped working in Boeing, I uh, actually took a month off and um, I wanted to change a career and and to those who doesn't really know how my brain works i actually have this well i think and uh, i i plan my, like five years you know five years of my life ahead um where i want to be and i'm always one of those who just love to learn and and uh, progress and um, it is more like impressing myself than impressing you know the people um, I'm never a people pleaser except when I was younger of course I'd always like to make my dad happy you know um, because um, he would only ask me like you know, like say, you know, when I was in school, like do better in school, but I wasn't really like competitive, um, you know, as compared to others. I just like felt like when I do my best and then, you know, that's how it is. Like that's, I'm, I'm good, you know. Um, so like, for example, I could be like top of the, be on top of the class, right? You're the first honor, but um, I was always an honor student, but, um, you know, um, I've always been just kind of in the middle, which is like second honor. And, um, yeah, because I'm just like happy, like, um, I, uh, I'm kind of, <clears throat> I think as, uh, I grow older as well, um, and even before, and I would always like, try to like say if it's a new thing i would always try it um uh, it's kind of like really for everything like i never really like assume or like like have this like a final you know thought right away like oh i'm very judgmental but like i don't like just it's all in my head though but i never like oh um this is gonna be happening or whatever unless it's like i really see a person and the result or like you know some things that like it's so obvious then you know um it's kind of like no brainer it's like no i would not do that you know because i would not like the result that i see or or you know um but anyways i would always just kind of be like go out there and uh, kind of explore really and um that's why i love to travel um, I cannot seem to be like in one place and I'm always hungry for like learning so that's why I always work in a contract I do contractor because um, not like a contractor like a you know like those kind of hard job builders but like I meant like in a contract like a kind of like a temporary like yeah, you just have this project and then you get another one you know that kind of thing and Here's the three reasons why I why I do that and why I like that and I and I still do. Um, I have a permanent job now, and um, I never really have a problem getting a job actually as well. Like every time, 
I get the interview, I just like 100% guaranteed that I get that job. Um, the only reason that um, I would probably not get the job is because I actually like decline it or turn it down. Um, anyways, I would always, um, <clears throat> yeah, like uh, I have my reasons and why I'm doing it. And, uh, and you know, w working wise, and to be honest, I'm never ever really like a, like a hard worker. And I do believe that hard work really does pays off and, you know, it does make a difference. But it's not all about that. I always like to work smartly. And um, I, uh, as I told you guys, I always plan, you know, five years of my life. So three reasons why I did what I do. Um, number one. I always think, okay, what is the um, the company, like uh, what the company stands for. So I'm very big on like a morale, like how long has the company been, you know, um, how big, how small the company and what, you know, like uh, what they stands for and their reputation and all that. And the reason why... I it's very important to me because <clears throat> when when I work for a certain company or you know be in that place um I really observed um the energy so um so when I say company it's not just like of course you're not going to be like you know meeting the CEO or something but um except for this job now I I do actually talk to the owner of this company but we'll talk about that later on but um because being in 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 a place where there's a lot of toxic toxicity or um just not so good stuff or negative stuff it really does affect my well-being um <clears throat> i mean i have a really good control and and uh and uh, i can always kind of be you know um out of my comfortable you know side or my comfort zone it's just that um i absorb that and then i you know do something about it um i i'm very flexible or like i, I adjust to things very easily but not so much with like people so that's why i'm very important who who i work with um despite me being literally I, I usually get along with anybody um and also what i notice is although i never really have experience with that company um per se since i like to learn i always like this is why i really like to work with like people that are smarter than me or like my first job was in aviation i'm so blessed to have that job um, and so I work with engineers and, you know, um, just smart people and smarter people. And I'm very attracted to smart people. I just think, you know, if I learn something, I got to learn it from the expert or, you know, anyone that, uh, that knows better than I am, you know, than me. <clears throat> Second one is, um, of course, how much they pay. Um, I would be so sounding so hypocrite or you know uh, if i would say oh yeah like yeah i don't care you know it's like it's like no i work because i try to make money i work not because i try to make friends i work because i try to make money so i can raise my three boys um and um the reason i i'd like to always be on like you know top or not not, not necessarily like top top position but like a better position which that's why i always work harder to get promoted and that way i can get paid more and that happened quite often and you know co-workers your lead your supervisor you know manager they see that and um i truly believe that you know um there's a lot of people that they think oh nobody's watching and you know so they're just being lazy but then they only like start to act up or like start 
you know uh, acting like they're really working hard when like you know there's a manager there or you know um the boss is there that kind of thing and i think it's funny and also like crazy you know like just try to put your best i guess like for me that's what i do and um also one thing like because i think a lot of people they forgot that sometimes they think like oh nobody's watching but like when you felt like nobody's watching you that's when someone's actually watching you so watch out third one um i know it's too early to guess but um so the third one that really matters to me is um why you know like i'm, I'm doing i'm doing that kind of work i don't meant like yeah because uh, why do i work is because you know so i get the money that I already include in the second um reason why but it's like why do i work why do i work for this company why do i work for that money or you know and is it worth how much they're paying me um the third one is because although it's on the third one it's also really quite important because um you know when you um hang out or not hang out but like you know when you're with that your co-worker of course like depends on where you're at like you could be like in the office by yourself and and working you know in your cubicle whatever which i've done that as well and it's like you know not me um um i don't like it very much you know staring on the screen for a long time and even you're just sitting and that kind of thing not very active not moving around so much but then typing and it just it kills me like my eyes is so sensitive <sighs> excuse me i did have a second cup of coffee but you know still yawning i'm sorry about that um yeah it's uh as i said it's it's very um quite important to me that i know the purpose of why i'm here why i'm you know dealing with this kind of people or why am i um what what i'm sacrificing it for you know um i know my freedom my time is very important to me as well so i'm in that point right now in my life where i can just reject well this kind of job that i have as a nursing um you know in progress as a nursing student and so that's why i'm just starting the cna to have an experience um, before i become a registered nurse and so i've done all my trainings and um so i have two that's coming up actually so i've been reviewing um i'm gonna have a certificate here soon um so a test to go and uh, once I pass that and um, that means more pay for me um, uh, so this job uh, right now it's uh, quite interesting and it's very fulfilling and I'm not just saying that um, I made way more money which I've always made I always got paid more than other co-workers when I work on certain place companies but of course, I never tell them that. Um, I mean, I think those are the kind of thing you should really be careful as well. And and I know, you know, um, I never get jealous. Like also when people, I actually look up to those. As what I was saying um, from earlier, that I like to learn from like the experts. And and of course, I know they're pay, they're um, making more than I am because they know right like more stuff than i <clears throat> than me and um and nothing against the people that like making less than me and um and they're like been there for a while and you know older than i am but um you know um i have my ways um and i don't really like tell them exactly what i know as well because um for me that was a part when i have my interview so when they look at my resume then they know and i felt like my boss should only be the one that knows about that you know i don't need to um tell my co-workers about what i know and 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 you know that kind of thing um for me it's so nice to feel that i can actually 
um, not demand, but like I can ask them like, hey, you know, um, you should pay me this much and, you know, um, because of this and this and, you know, when they ask me why and, and, and um, yeah, when I tell them why and, uh, and they agree. I'm really bad at like negotiating, I felt like. Um, I remember before I went to a business management in university and um, I learned there's this one phrase or it's it just stuck in my head um, how to do business really how to deal it's like a negotiation part and um, that really helps me throughout so yeah, go to school, you know. There's some things that you would learn by not going to school. And only listen to, you know, <laughs> your professor if you think that they're very successful. Well, by the way, successful, there's different kind of successful, you know. Um, maybe you don't, you don't look like successful to me, but for me, I am because I have different goals than you. And also, I'm not going to put it out there exactly like, what I've accomplished unless you know I'm being asked but I'm just that in the point of my life is what I said where I can ask them like how how much they should be paying me and what experience I have and not to brag about it but like that's the kind of nice thing about going from one company to another for me it's really beneficial for me I know some people they just like to be stuck in one place and you know, I admire them for that as well. You know, I, I, I couldn't do that. Um, and, and for me, um, my way also of elevating is not being just one, you know, like say like when I, we were in Boeing, it's like, oh, um, you know, you got to do six years and then, you know, when you're maxed out there, it's good, I guess, you know, but it still depends on what position, what you do. But, um, I was actually quite, not happy when I started there because I was already making way more money before um, I even um, work inside Boeing. So um, I guess you know everyone's different. Like you know, um, it, and then it just you know after that then I kind of get it back because then they raise the minimum or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm not quite happy. So with some people, I guess they don't have education or or degree or whatever, um, or they just you know they got crappy jobs before. So course you know Boeing is a big company but they're not trust me I mean I'm not like saying bad things about them now but I mean it's quite obvious too like you know they're out there uh, they're not doing as well compared to you know a few years um, and in fact they're actually kind of they're in debt and we're not talking about millions it's like billions in debt and they need to catch up and who knows what's gonna happen um, and I still wish them well because uh, half of my family still works there so um but i'm happy where i'm at right now um and my point is i guess um yeah with my journey um everyone has their own um i'm just really um lucky to have found i guess my purpose and my ways and how to get ahead of life and for me it's always a freedom where I can do what I want. Uh, I hate being told what to do. So that kind of uh, an advantage for me to level up. And um, I'm also in a part of my my life where I really think what is important. And freedom is very important to me. Where, yeah, I can just, I mean, you know, not just time. But it's like to be able to do stuff that when I wanted to do them. And, you know, be able to take two months off nobody can give you that um even boeing even um the biggest companies you've been um i've been to actually um the leviton which it's older than boeing actually um and um yeah uh it's it's always just like you know two weeks and then and for me well right now I, i'm getting like three weeks so there you go but nobody would give you a month or two and that's one thing I like being um you know having just a contract work or project because I would always say I would work like six eight months and then or like if I got it to like a year and they always end up hiring me but the reason with that is because I could always you know um, once I'm done with my project then I usually take a month or two 
off uh, you know vacation I you know I, you know I saved up and then, uh, and, and they pay and uh, to those who doesn't know actually contract workers are getting paid more um, the only reason my concern was before was with my um, me because if you're not permanent worker like you know you because you need medical you know like that kind of thing very healthy so um, and you pay a little bit more if you don't have it straight from a permanent job right so um, but I'm good now I have one of the best medical as well especially with you know being in a medical field and then that's all really I needed my kids are covered with their dad's um, insurance which we have the same so you know medical dental all that um it get a little bit pricey if you don't have a good one um and i think like with boeing i think that's what like people are after for where the benefits they do have one of the best benefits too to be honest but um other than that i've worked um i would probably say if i have top, top three of the best companies i've worked for Boeing won't even make it to first and second. I think Boeing is like third one. Um, and I have the two companies that is the best for, for me. Um, I'm not going to mention that here right now. But um, yeah, um, feel free. You can comment if you are, um, you know, wondering what it, what company it is. Um, and um, last but not least, um, it's been 21 <laughs> minutes. Um, I just like to be able to upload this one. Um, I actually take a day off today because um, I just don't feel like going to work and that's the kind of reason I told you like where I have to be like uh, in control of my time and uh, I uh, I'm I'm already kind of I'm paid for today anyways um, so I have other resources and that's the other next one topic is to be um, and with all the inflation and all that I think uh, I'm gonna switch I'm gonna be talking I know I said about having music and stuff but you always gotta get, get like copyright as well but I know people really enjoy that um, hopefully I can start you know gig, gig have a concert and gigs again because um, everything is kind of opening up but also you got to be careful out there because um i think the cases spike up again um but anyways um i'm fully vaccinated but yeah um i guess uh we can talk about that and this channel i'd like to talk about more like a financial since there's inflation and and why i'm doing what i'm doing and also why um I'm not so stressed or worried about things, but it really does get my attention this time when, you know, my kids do their shopping now and I have my food, like food delivered and stuff delivered to my house. But like, oh my gosh, like unbelievable how price has gone up so much and uh, and gas as well. Uh, gas as well. Um, I've always gone to Shell, you know. I have all this membership that really, yeah, it totally does. Um, it's worth it and it pays me. Um, and uh, so, yeah, and that's just how I get great deals. Um, yeah, and so um, I think it's kind of, I'm really, I'm a natural spender, so it's like kind of tough for me to save, but I think this would really force me to save as well. Um, I'm, of course, I really advise you guys have to have six months of emergency, you know, just in case, you, you know, you never know. Um, also, I have a lot of exciting news um, that will be in my new, next um, <clears throat> video and like uh, projects um, that are done and then uh, I'd like to show that and then um, also um, I'm upgrading my vehicle and my son also I'm um, getting his license um, next month so um, there's a lot of like uh, it's a major uh, things and um, I'm giving their privacy you know during that age where um, they're teenagers and uh, but we're still very open and it's just a little um, different stage now you know you're dealing with different stuff and and um, I'm really trying to do my best to just be there for them and support them and um, you know just kind of guide them and you know boys they need a little bit push and effort and all that stuff um, but my only wish is always to be healthy and wise and um, it really does make a difference and also, you know what, uh, my man, I know not everybody's like for it, but he's nice enough to be able to 
get to my house otherwise you know but he's helped me here and there you know make it a little bit things easier for me not that i need him but um you know um i'm fine on my own i got it all figured out but thank god for nice people um so next time we'll talk about the more exciting things um and what's in my mind um and hope you guys have a good day and uh, thanks for listening to me and thanks for subscribing and subscribe some more and thumb uh, do like my videos if you like it and um thanks for also being interested in me and following me on instagram i'm not very um the only reason i go to facebook is um, for like memories and stuff because i've done so many things and in, in the past and and traveled a lot of places and sometimes i forgot <laughs> so it's nice to see all those memories and uh but other than that um that's really it and um thank you so much and um i am learning a lot and i'm happy where i'm at right now um and be careful and be healthy and thanks for watching and ciao